That's it. Rolling your shoulders back and down, keeping your spine straight. Let's bring your hands on the chin mudra, place them on your knees. And close your eyes for a minute. Let's take a deep inhale through the nostrils, filling your lungs. Exhale, sigh it out. Just being aware of the floor underneath and the ceiling above your head and the four walls of your room, the position of your mat in your room right now. Just check in with your body and see how you feel, your energy levels. And gently remind yourself why you show up on your mat this beautiful morning. Set up your intentions for your practice. From your heart, start your sentence with I am. And finish it how you want to feel and who you want to be today. Let's bring palms together on the heart center. Take a deep inhale, rising up towards the sky, reach and reach and reach and hold your breath. Extra inhale through your mouth and hold and hold and hold with your exhale. Squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades on the back of your torso. Inhale, lift your chin up, drop your head back. With your exhale, interlace your fingers on your back, pushing the palms into each other and pushing your knuckles away from your torso, dropping your head back, chest open. Then interlace your fingers forward, turning your palms out, curving that spine, opening that shoulder blades. <laughs> Inhale, rising up towards the sky, reach and reach and reach. With your exhale, drop your right arm down. Left arm over your head. Just noticing the lovely stretch on the left side of your torso. <laughs> you go, go. Reaching over a little bit more. And cartwheeling to the other side, drop that left arm down, the right arm over your head and reach and reach and reach. And gently coming back to center, we're going to carry on with Malasana, keeping the feet wider than hip distance apart, placing your hands on your heart center, push your elbows into the knees, squeeze your glutes. Push the knees out with your elbows, squeeze, 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 and release. We are going to place the hands on the floor, shoulders distance apart, lifting your hip up towards the sky, noticing the hamstrings, moving your hip side to the side, just slightly shifting your hip. And gently coming back to center, place your palms together again, push your elbows out to the sides as wide as you can. Let's bring that right leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the ground, sending your right heel back, noticing your hip flexors on the right side and your hip socket on the left side. Take a deep inhaling and exhaling. Let's step forward for Malasana again, sinking into your center palms together, push your elbows into the knees, squeeze your glutes, squeeze, 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 and release. Hands are on the floor, lifting your hip up towards the sky, walking your hands a little bit further, then you can start to move your hips side to the side, bending one knee at a time, just noticing your hamstrings. Sit back into the center again. Let's bring that left leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the ground. 
noticing your left hip flexors, sending your left heel back, noticing your calf muscles on the left side. Let's step forward, coming halfway, your back is flat, chest open. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, grab your elbows, relax your shoulders and your head. Pulling your belly button with your inhaling, with your exhaling, allow yourself to sink into the sink towards the ground from the crown of your head a little bit more. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing, palms together, bringing your arms behind your ears, push your hip forward, grab the floor with your toes, squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease, relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, step back to your plank position, push the floor away with your hands, zipping up your jeans. Knees, chin and chest or full chaturanga, inhaling, shoulders forward, exhaling, lowering down. Inhale, coming to your upper dog, dragging your hip forward. Exhale to your downward dog. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, sending your hip up towards the sky. Relax your neck. Take a deep inhale. One more time. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step forward, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing and back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up, your gaze up. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease, relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, step back to your plank position, push the floor away with your hands, inhaling. Exhaling, knees, chin and chest or chaturanga. Inhale, coming to your upper dog, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, to your downward dog. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, turn that tailbone up towards the sky. Relax your neck down towards the floor. Right leg goes up towards the sky with your inhaling. Push the floor away with your hands as much as you can. Exhaling, right leg forward, left knee down. Inhale, rising up towards the sky with your fingertips. Keep traveling those fingertips towards the back, pushing your hip forward towards that right heel, chest open. Let's travel that fingers all the way back to the ground. Lift your left knee off the floor. Step forward with your left leg, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. And back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, step back to your plank position. Push the floor away with your hands. Inhaling. Exhaling to Chaturanga. Turn your toes. Inhale, coming to your upper dog. Bring your hip forward. <laughs> Exhale to your downward dog. Take a deep inhale. And deep exhaling, release that tension from your neck. <clears throat> Left leg goes up towards the sky, inhaling, three leg dog, push the floor away with your hands. Exhaling, left leg forward, right knee down, arms are going up towards the sky with your deep inhale. Exhale, sink your shoulders and hip down towards the ground, reaching back with your fingertips, chest open. Let's travel that fingertips towards the back. Release them on the ground. Inhale, lift your right knee. Step forward halfway. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. And back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up, your gaze up. Exhale, fall forward from a hip crease. Relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your right leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the ground. Squeeze the right glutes for me, please. 
Left arm goes up towards the sky, inhaling, chest open, push the floor away with your right hand, squeeze the right glutes a little bit more and release your hands on the, front, on the ground, stepping back for your plank position, push the floor away with your hands, inhaling, exhaling to Chaturanga, inhale, coming to your upper dog and exhale to your downward dog. Let's take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Right leg goes up towards the sky for your three leg dog. Bring your right leg forward to warrior one, rising up towards the sky and reach. Exhale, sinking into your posture. Let's interlace the fingers on the back. Push the palms into each other. Take a deep inhale and lifting your heart center up, drop your head back, lift your chin up and release your hands on the floor. Step forward with your left leg coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing and back to Samastiti. Inhale, arms up, your gaze up. Exhale, fall forward from a hip crease. Relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your left leg back, big step. Sinking your hip down towards the ground. Inhale, your right hand goes up towards the sky. Push the floor away with your left hand a little bit more. And release your right hand down. Step back for your plank position. Push the floor away with your hands. Inhaling. Knees, chin and chest or knees on the ground for your chaturanga. Take it easy if you need to. Coming to your upper dog. Drag your hip forward. Exhale to your downward dog. Let's take a deep inhale. And deep exhale. Let's turn that tailbone up towards the sky. Left leg goes up for your three leg dog, inhaling. Exhaling, left leg forward, warrior one. Rising up towards the sky and reach. Exhale, sinking into your posture, relax your shoulders and down towards the ground. Interlacing your fingers on your back. Push the palms into each other. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift your heart center, drop your head back, lift your chin up. Take a deep inhaling and exhaling and release your hands on the floor. Stepping forward with your right leg, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing and back to Samastiti. Let's interlace the fingers on the back, push the palms into each other, inhale, chest open, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease, bringing your arms over your head, relax your neck. Bend your knees, release your arms, inhale, coming to your chair pose, squeeze your glutes and your inner thighs. Exhale, fall forward from hip crease, relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your right leg back, big step. Sink your hip down towards the ground. Inhale, left arm goes up towards the sky. Push the floor away with your right hand. Lower the right side of the heel down. Lowering the right side of the hip towards the ground. Noticing the left foot trying to face towards you under the sole of your feet. Lovely stretch on the outside of that right hip. Beautiful. Release your hands on the floor. Stepping back for your plank position. Push the floor away with your hands. Take a deep inhaling and exhaling. So you can stay here absolutely fine or we're going to have the knees touching to the elbows. Just for fun, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring that right knee to the right elbow. Ding, step back, inhale. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Ding, step back, inhaling. One more each side. Inhale with your exhale, bring your knee to the elbow and stepping back. 
exhale knee to the other elbow and stepping back beautiful full chaturanga or meet us on the downward dog inhale upper dog exhale to your downward dog let's take a deep inhale and deep exhale right leg goes up towards the sky for your three leg dog inhaling exhaling right leg forward and sink into your mat rising up towards the sky with your fingertips chest open exhale sink a little bit more inhale open to the side for warrior two exhale sink turning your palms up towards the sky tucking that tailbone in pushing the edge of that left foot towards the ground a little bit more Beautiful, inhale, straighten your boat legs, send your hip towards the back of your mat, reaching forward, did you hear that pop in my hips? Okay, yeah, reaching forward with your right fingertips, reach and reach and reach, then carry on for your triangle, releasing your right hand down, right arm up towards the sky. Take a deep inhale and exhale google is complaining on your own behalf <laughs> we're going to carry on with the half moon bending your right knee slowly travel your right fingertips forward if you have a block you can use the block for your balance but allowing that left toes to be flexed and keeping that left leg parallel towards the ground trying to straighten that right leg and open the torso to the side a little bit more. If you're falling, that's fine. You're human, that's normal. But we're just going to try and see how it feels. And slowly come back up again. If there is a wall available for you, let's try the same thing having the wall behind us to see which muscles actually we need to be using on this one. So bending your right knee, reaching towards the ground with your right fingertips and allowing that left leg to be flat, uh, parallel towards the ground. Flex that left toes, open that left arm up towards the sky and push your back against the wall and see actually which muscles are you using exactly for this posture and if you if you allow your body to memorize this post uh, uh, muscles on this posture then you should be able to feel when you're using this pose without the wall engaging the same muscles with your muscle memory having that pose easily it didn't happen to have the warrior one to feel easily so it's all about the practice with your pose okay be careful and gentle when you come back we are going to meet up on the front of the mat again palms together on the heart center let's roll the shoulders back and down spine straight take a deep inhale rising up towards the sky and reach with your exhale interlace your fingers on your back push the palms into each other Inhale, lift your heart center up, drop your head back. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease. Bend your knees slightly, bring your arms over your head, relax your neck. Going to your chair pose, release your arms. Inhale, swipe your fingers on the floor. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease, relax your neck. Inhale, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, bring your left leg back, big step, sinking your hip down towards the ground. Inhale, your right fingertips reaches up towards the sky. Look up to your right fingertips if it's available to do so. Releasing the left heel to the side, lowering the left side of the hip towards the ground and noticing the sole of that right foot is trying to look at you. Take a deep inhale, do not hold your breath and exhale feel that lovely stretch on the outside of that left hip then we're going to release the hands on the floor stepping back for your plank position push the floor away with your hands 
Hold on to the plank or join us for the knee touches to the elbows. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, step back. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, step back. One more on each side. Right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, step back. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. And back to center. Meet us on the Dharma Dog, going through full Chaturanga. Maybe knees, chin and chest. Maybe knees on the ground. Choose your options wisely. Take a deep inhale in. And exhaling, turning that hip up towards the sky. Left leg goes up towards the sky for your three leg dog. Bring your left leg forward, coming to your warrior one, rising up towards the sky and reach. Exhale, sinking into your posture. Inhale, open to the side, warrior two. Exhale, sink a little bit more. Pushing the edge of that right foot towards the floor, turning your palms up towards the sky, tucking that tailbone in. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, straighten your butt legs, tilt that uh, right side of the hip up towards the sky, left side of the hip down towards the floor. Reach with your left fingertips and reach and reach and reach, then drop that left arm down right arm up towards the sky chest open pull that belly button into your spine a little bit more and the same again um you can try this pose against the wall as well to see how far you need to push to have yourself flat against the ground because sometimes we tend to roll forward trying to reach the toe our ego takes over i'm going to reach that toe but then your right shoulder is rolling down towards the ground. We really want to have our back against the wall if you want to try that way. And also remember, we are going to carry on with the half moon. So sending that left knee forward, slowly reaching down towards the floor with your left fingertips, flexing that right toes, keeping that um, right leg parallel towards the ground. Pull your belly button in and push your chest against that wall. Even if you're using wall right now, doesn't mean that it's easy. Even doing this posture against the wall is quite challenging. You can feel all the muscles that you should be using for your half moon shape. Make sure you're still breathing. Take a deep inhaling and exhaling. <laughs> beautiful be careful and gentle when you come up from this pose we're going to meet back on the top of the mat again if you were using the wall palms together on the heart center inhale rising up towards the sky and reach exhale fall forward from the hip crease relax your neck inhale coming halfway your back is flat exhale step back to your plank position push the floor away with your hands inhaling exhaling to your chaturanga inhale coming to your upper dog and exhale to your downward dog right leg goes up towards the sky for your three leg dog bring your right knee to the right elbow tiger curls travel that shoulders forward beyond your fingertips Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, lift that right leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring your right knee to the right elbow. Push your shoulders forward. Inhale, lift that right leg up as high as you can. Exhale, right leg forward, coming to your warrior one. Rising up towards the sky and reach. Exhale, sinking into your posture. Inhale, open to the side, warrior two exhale sinking into your posture inhale straighten both legs triangle exhale reach and reach and reach then turn your right palm up drop your right hand down lift your left arm up push the right hand against that shin open your torso a little bit more 
Beautiful, let's bend that right knee, slowly coming to your half moon shape, lifting that left leg off the ground, or maybe keep it on the ground, that's fine if it's too much, just try to open your torso to the side and see how it feels, trying to balance only on the one side of the body. Take a deep inhale and exhaling, bend that right knee, slowly, gracefully coming back to your warrior two, sinking into your posture, beautiful. Inhale, lift that left heel off the ground, turning your hip forward, rising up towards the sky with your fingertips. Exhale, sinking into your low lunge, sending that left heel back, noticing the left hip flexors, trying to tuck that tailbone in a little bit more. Beautiful, let's complete it with a twist, palms together on the heart center, relax your shoulders first, take a deep inhale, pull that belly button in, with your exhale, twist your torso to your right side, finding that left elbow outside of that right knee. Pull that belly button into your spine and align your hands in the middle of your chest. Let's remember to squeeze the left glutes and sink your hip down a little bit more. Take a deep inhale and exhaling release your hands on the floor step forward with your left leg coming halfway your back is flat exhale fold bend your knees inhale coming all the way up to standing and back to samastiti inhale arms up your gaze up exhale fall forward from hip crease relax your neck inhale coming halfway your back is flat Exhale, step back to your plank position. Push the floor away with your hands. Inhaling, exhaling your last chaturanga. Inhale, coming to your upper dog. And exhale to your downward dog. Take a deep inhale, tilt that tailbone up towards the sky with your exhale and relax your neck. Left leg goes up towards the sky with your inhaling to be leg dog. Exhaling, knee to the same elbow, travel the shoulders forward, squeeze the left heel to the hip. Beautiful, inhale, lift that left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring that knee to the elbow, travel forward from the crown of the head. Inhale, lift that left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring that left leg forward, coming to your warrior one, rising up towards the sky and reach exhale sinking into your posture inhale open to the side warrior two exhale sink into your posture inhale straighten your butt legs send your hip back reach forward with your left fingertips and drop your left arm down right arm up open your torso pull that belly button in push the edge of that right foot into the floor Beautiful. We're going to bend that left knee. Remember, half moon shape, slowly coming to your posture, finding your balance, slowly does better. Flex that right toes, keep that left, right leg parallel towards the ground, trying to straighten that left leg and trying to reach up towards the sky with your right fingertips. Make sure you're still breathing. Take a deep inhale and exhaling almost there you got this one inhale and exhale bend that left knee warrior two coming back to gently gracefully landing back again relax those shoulders let get rid of the tension inhale lift that right heel twist your torso forward rising up towards the sky with your fingertips Exhale, sink into your low lounge, noticing that right hip flexors, screaming at you, trying to tuck that tailbone in to make it deeper. Take a deep inhale one more time. And exhale, sink into your pose a little bit more. Palms together on the heart center, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Pull that belly button in going for a twist. Take a deep inhale, exhale, knee to the opposite elbow, meet them together. 
Don't forget that right leg needs to be strong. Squeeze the right glutes a little bit more. Twist your torso, bring your prayer hands in the middle of your chest. Take a deep inhaling. Exhaling. Beautiful, one more inhale. Exhale, releasing your hands on the floor. Step forward, coming halfway, your back is flat. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing. And back to Samastiti. So I promise you that you will feel energized at the end of the class. So a little bit of reminder of your energy battery, the, the big energy um, charger that we've been using for the Tibetan rice most of you guys knows already. I'm not going to go through too much onto the details, but we're going to open the palms to the sides. Let's twist our torso to the uh, clockwise. We're going to rotate five times. So rotating to the right side, clockwise for three times and four times and five times. Beautiful. Gently lie down on your back. Bring your legs together. Arms over your head. Give yourself a nice big stretch. And reach and reach and reach. Second moves of the Tibetan rights. Bring your palms by your sides facing down. Tuck that tailbone in. Bring that belly button towards the floor. Inhale, lift your shoulders and head off the ground, hands off the floor. Lift your legs up 90 degrees. Pull that belly button into your spine. Five more of these, lowering your legs down, head down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Two more, inhale, lift. Pull that belly button in, exhale, lowering it down, inhale, lift, exhale, lower it down. One more time, inhale, lift your legs up, exhale, lower your legs down. Bring your knees into your chest, interlace your fingers in front of your shins, rolling yourself side to the side. We're going to roll ourselves backwards and forwards five times. Rolling forward once and twice. Healthy body, healthy spine, balancing your chakras at the same time. Rolling forward five times and come up to your knees. Tucking your to uh, toes in. We are going to carry on with the camel and the rabbit pose five times. The third move of the Tibetan rites. So support your torso with your hands. Make sure that palms are supporting. Fingertips are going up towards the sky. Push your hip forward. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale. Lift your heart center up. Drop your head back. Exhale. Fold. Bring the top of the head on the floor for your rabbit. Inhale. Lift yourself up for your camel. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale. Fold forward. Top of the head touching to the ground. Tuck your chin. Inhale, lifting camel pose. Push your hip forward. Exhale, fold. Drop your head down. One more inhale. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades and your elbows. Exhale, fall forward. Untangle your toes. Let's have a child pose. Allowing your whole body to sink into your mat. Can you relax your whole body to sink into your heels? It's important to engage our muscles during the practice. And also it's important to relax your body for mini rest in between as well. So please do release the tension from the shoulders and your neck. Feel yourself to sink into your mat. And gently come back up. We are going to carry on with the fourth move of the Tibetan rites. 
Remember, Tibetan rice gives you full of energy whole day. So we're going to sit up on the Dandasana to start with. Remember, your easy option will be your hip will be between your heels and your hands to come to your reverse table. Otherwise, sit on the Dandasana, flex your toes to start with. Pull that belly button in, inhale, lift for reverse table, push your hip up, squeeze your glutes, exhale, coming back to your dandasana or hip in the center with knees bent. Inhale, lifting, dropping your head back, exhale, coming back to center. We have three more, inhale, lift, squeeze your glutes, drop your head back, exhale, coming back to your dandasana, inhale, lifting. Exhale, coming back. So you can have this moves as fast as you like in the morning or as slow as you like. It's only five moves and keeps you going full energy whole day. So that was the fourth move of the Tibetan rites. We're going to complete it on the fifth one. Fifth one, remember, it's like treading the needle. So we're going to start with a downward dog, rolling your knees in, turn over, Place yourself for your downward dog to start with. So on this one, we're going to carry on with upper dog, downward dog, like a treading a needle. Toes will be tucked in. So make sure that you engage your glutes to keep your lower back safe. Inhale, coming to your upper dog, squeeze the glutes. Exhale to your downward dog, lift the hip up. Inhale, roll forward, coming to your upper dog. Exhale, lift your hip up, back to your downward dog. Let's have two more. Inhale, ripple your torso forward, coming to your upper dog. Exhale, to your downward dog. One more inhaling, coming to your upper dog. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, to your downward dog. Let's drop the knees on the ground. Sit back onto your heels. So we were talking before. Um, I think it was with Stacy. we were talking about the falling over and everything. So I was telling her about the uh, um, rolling panda posture. <laughs> so it is, the name comes with the rolling panda because you actually fall <laughs> most of the times, but you do try your best, engage your whole body not to fall. So what's the point of roll, rolling panda pose? When we do the rolling panda pose, your whole weight actually on the, whichever side you're going, on the top of your shoulder, because of the weight goes into that place, you really get the nice release, relaxed neck as well. And also we extend the leg and hold on to the toes. So it's a deep stretch for your extending leg as well. So how are we going to go into that? It will be step by step. If you fall, don't worry. But when you're into that posture, when you, how do you know you're actually in that right place of your neck is the one that it feels, that it feels right. You don't have to do too much hard work. If you're still doing the hard work, if it, it, you're not there yet. So when you find that point, it feels like, Oh yeah, yeah, I found it, it feels nice. So let's try. <laughs> so we're going to bring that right arm up towards the sky to start with. And let's tread that needle, drop the right side of the shoulder and head on the ground. So it's important that left hand needs to be strong. Let's extend that left leg to the side. Can you meet that left leg? left toes with your right hand so grab that okay maybe just being here is too much already but remember we are on the top of the uh, the outside of the shoulder right now we're going to roll over to that place between the so you need to send your head a little bit and extending your neck and roll over to that top of that right shoulder and send your hip towards the left side so your weight is coming towards the top of that right shoulder 
and using your whole muscles not to fall. When your left foot coming off the ground, you will fall. So push that left foot towards the floor, but at the same time, extending that left side of the hip towards the right side and finding that weight on top of that right shoulder. Are you still breathing? Nobody fall yet? That's really good. Fantastic. You guys are good. Oops, the daisy. I just said. <laughs> right. Just be careful and gentle when you come out from the pose. And let's see if it will be easier on the other side. Now you will notice the difference from one side to the other side. For sure. So Let's come up on all fours again. Bring your left arm up towards the sky, chest open, and thread your needle, drop your shoulder on the floor, and extend that right leg to the side. Can you grab that right toes with your left hand? Start rolling over to that left shoulder. Oopsie daisy, fall again. <laughs> I'm noticing the weight over that left side trying to bring your hip towards the um, left side and towards your shoulder can't see you extend that right leg a little bit more are you still breathing take a deep inhaling and exhaling And be very, very careful and gentle when you come up from this pose. Now both sides are even. Yay! <laughs> Let's roll the shoulders back, big circles. Roll the shoulders forward, big circles. Lift your shoulders up, squeeze, 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 and release. Lift your chin up, drop your head back, and bring your chin to your chest, and back to center, turn your head to one side, and to the other side. Beautiful, coming back to center. We're going to lie down on our backs, legs are straight. Bring your arms over your head. Feet together, give yourself a nice big stretch and reach and reach and reach and release. Bring your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers in front of your shin. Push that left leg down a little bit more towards the ground. You're going to travel that right knee to the left side, tucking that right toes behind that left leg, using with your left hand to travel that right knee a little bit further. Take a deep inhale, exhale, relax your torso, trying to keep that right shoulder on the floor. And gently coming back to center, change sides. Bring your left knee into your chest. Extend that right leg down. Push it down towards the floor. Bring that left knee into the chest a little bit more. So you're stimulating your internal organs. Travel that left knee to the right side, tucking it behind that right leg, tucking your toe and travel that knee over. Keeping that left shoulder on the floor, pull that belly button in. Take a deep inhaling and exhaling. Try to keep that left shoulder on the floor if you can. And gently coming back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Grab your toes for your happy pose. Happy baby pose. 
Lifting the soles of your feet up towards the sky, dropping your knees to the side, relaxing your arms, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your knees, and feel that deep stretch on your hip sockets. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, travel your hip towards the ground. Make sure your spine is flat, your chin is slightly tucked in. We're going to extend the heels out to the sides to go a little bit more stretch for the legs. Turning your heels out, toes towards your shoulders, extending your arms, noticing that lovely deep stretch for your hamstrings, for your inner thighs. We're going to find our way to meet us on the shoulder stand. So let's bring the legs together first. Travel your arms over your head so you find yourself on your malasana. But if you struggle, just find your own way to your malasana. Support your torso with your hands and bring your legs up towards the sky. If you want to go for a waterfall, that's absolutely fine, which means that you can have your um torso on the ground and your legs up towards the sky on the 90 degrees we're going to stay here for 10 breaths getting our immune system stronger engaging the legs take a deep inhaling and exhaling. Feeling that blood draining down through your legs, feeling the pressure on your throat. And your varicose veins are happy. Be very careful and gentle when you bring your legs over your head. Make sure you use your hands on the floor to support your torso, to use them as a brakes, bringing yourself back slowly, <laughs> vertebra by vertebra, back to the floor. When your legs reach to the ground, bring your arms over your head, Give yourself a nice big stretch and reach and reach and reach and release. Let's carry on with the fish pose. We're going to hide the hands and the arms under the torso, palms facing down. Squeeze the shoulder blades, toes together. Lift up yourself up on your elbows, chest open. Walk forward with your heels so you can tilt your tailbone. Lift your heart center, drop your head back, feel your throat, feel your thyroid gland stimulated. So we're going to clear out uh, debris, air left in the ends of your um, mind blank, <laughs> your lungs, yay, <laughs> it's back. So we're going to do, do lion breath, take a deep inhale through your nostrils. With your exhale, stick your tongue out, <sighs> sigh it out. Take a deep inhale through the nostrils, filling your lungs. <sighs> exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Bring your tongue to your chin. Take a deep inhale. One more time. You got this. I'm the only one. <laughs> you can <laughs> take a deep inhale. <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Gently tuck your chin and lower yourself back towards the ground. Untangle your arms, bring your knees into your chest, massaging your back, rolling yourself side to the side. Arms up into the sides like a cactus. Take a deep inhaling. Exhaling, drop your knees to your right side, turn your gaze to the left side. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep inhale, knees back into the center. Exhale, lowering them to the left side. Turn your gaze to the right side. Mm. 
and gently coming back to center. We're going to roll forward and back five times. Healthy spine, healthy bodies, rolling forward once. And twice. And three times. And four times. And five times. Let's bring one leg in front of the other one. Grab your elbows. Chest open, inhaling. Exhale, fall forward from the hip crease. Sealing our practice. Feel your glutes and your hip sockets. Allow your chest to be heavy. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Trust your legs to lift you up. Push your shins onto the floor and lift. Let's swap the legs to the other side. Grab your elbows, chest open. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward from the hip crease. Allow your whole body to go heavy. Trust your legs to lift you up, push them onto the ground and bring yourself back up. Lie down on your back for your Savasana. You made it. I know you guys are here for Savasana. <laughs> While you guys are getting ready with the cushions and blankets and then comfy things on your feet, I will give a little bit of more information about this Tibetan rice we're squeezing into our practice today for those of you who never heard that before. So the Tibetan rites are the five special moves that Tibetan monks come up with to bring vitality and full on energy for their body for all day long. And also this Tibetan right moves when you do them every day, you keep, keep staying young. <laughs> I'm actually 60. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And um, this Tibetan rite is supposed to be done 21 times each. But if you start doing them 21 times each, you will start feel sick because it's sudden energy rush through your body and also sudden um, with the moves, you release the blockages from your body as well. So it suddenly is too much. If you start doing 21 times each right away, you can literally be sick on both ways. I'm talking about black poo. <laughs> that much clearance going on in your body. So you need to, <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> She's shaking her head. So you start doing these moves five times each for one week and next week you do six times each, seven times each, eight times, all the way up to 21 times. It takes around three months. So if you're interested about it, send me a message. I will give you more information, but let's enjoy Savasana now. That's what we are here for, right? <laughs> Lie down on your backs and find a comfortable position. Turning your palms open up towards the sky. And drop your legs to the sides. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Your toes are heavy. Starting from the top of your head. Allow your face to be relaxed. Allow your arms to be heavy, your toes to be heavy and relax. Relax the right side of your body. Completely. Relax the left side of your body completely. Relax the back of your body 
and the front of your body and relax your whole body sinking into your mat. Noticing the lightness of your breath. Noticing the calmness of your mind. Noticing that beautiful energy you have created in your body with your practice. Gently bring your attention to your heart center and remind yourself your sentence starts with I am and you are. Gently wriggle your fingers and wriggling your toes. Noticing the floor underneath and the position of your mat in your room. The four walls and the ceiling above you. Let's take a deep inhale through the nostrils, filling your lungs. Exhale, sigh it out. Gently bring your arms over your head, feet together, give yourself a nice big stretch and reach and reach and reach and release. Bending your knees, gently roll onto your right side, away from your heart center. And slowly bring yourself to sitting position. Your hands are on the heart center. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, side out. Rub your palms, create energy inside of your palms. Bring that energy over your eyes, recharge. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Two fingers between the eyebrows, two fingers on the belly button. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Palms together again. The light within me, honors the light within you. Thank you so much for showing up on your map to share this beautiful practice together. Namaste. See you next time. Remember, Thursday night, it's seven o'clock, not half six. And Sunday night, remember your headphones for Nidra and Reiki. It works better apparently with the headphones. You get a good feedback. <laughs>